Hi everyone and welcome once again to my channel and another cigar review. So today I'm going to be reviewing a cigar that's a more recent uh, discovery of mine and that is the E.P. Carrillo New Wave Reserva. It's a Connecticut cigar and um, I'm always on the lookout for uh, good um, um, Connecticut cigars, trying different type of Connecticut cigars, not because uh, necessarily they're my favorite cigars, um, because they're not necessarily uh, that, but uh, I'm always on the search for a cigar that I can uh, quite uh, nicely enjoy with a morning cup of coffee. And for me, those uh, tend to be, um, you know, those uh, cigars that are more mild, mild to medium, creamy kind of flavor profile type of cigars. So I'm always looking at trying different type of Connecticut cigars. Um, and sometimes it's hard because Connecticut's usually they tend to be, um, well, obviously they tend to be milder, but sometimes more one dimensional in uh, flavor. Um, not to say that they're not, uh, uh, they wouldn't be good, um, but um, a lot of them tend to be a little bit more one dimensional in flavor. So I'm always looking for um, different uh, Connecticut. So I discovered this one. And uh, this was quite a good one. I've smoked it before, obviously, and I'm really, um, uh, I'm really looking forward to um, sharing my uh, my thoughts uh, with you. So, for those of you who don't know, E. P. Carrillo, Ernesto Perez Carrillo, he's a master cigar maker, um, and he was the architect behind the very famous La Gloria Cubana um, line of uh, of uh, cigars and. Um, uh, now he makes his own um, his own name, E.P. Carrillo cigars, which are quite uh, known to be um, kind of more in that premium range of uh, cigars, um, and uh, they're consistently um, uh, highly rated by different uh, uh, magazines, cigar aficionado, and etc. So I was myself really looking forward to uh, trying uh, this one, the New Wave Reserva. There's a New Wave. There's a uh, E.P. Carrillo New Wave, but this is a New Wave Reserva, which is a little bit of a different um, uh, different blends in the cigar. So about the cigar, 50 ring gauge, okay, and uh, five inches in uh, length. So it's a it's a, this one's a robusto, and um, so like I said, it has um, an Ecuadorian Connecticut uh, wrapper. Um, a Connecticut broadleaf binder, so that's interesting uh, in terms of the Connecticut broadleaf for those of you who know they're quite flavorful. Uh, like I said, that's one of the things that uh, kind of um, piqued my curiosity about this cigar and uh, the filler is uh, both Nicaraguan and uh, uh, Dominican and um, um, the cigar itself is made in, um, in uh, Dominican, uh, Dominican Republic. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, go with the uh, foot of the cigar. So a lot of grassy um, kind of hay uh, aromas into the uh, the draw of the foot uh, foot of the cigar, but I think there's some cedar uh, in there as well and. I want to say a, a hint of sweetness, spicy sweetness, it's hard to say, um, but uh, I'll cut the cigar and uh, see what the uh, the cold uh, draw looks like here. Okay. The cold draw still has that kind of hay, grass, kind of barnyardish. Um, flavors, but uh, there's much more of a cedar uh, presence in the uh, in the uh, cold draw, um, and somewhat reminiscent of a uh, uh, some Cuban uh, cigars. But uh, let's go ahead ahead and um, light this guy.
nice flavors. Good draw, good draw on this cigar. Not too open, not too tight. I'd say a perfect draw on this cigar right now. So great flavors right off the bat. There's a nice kind of mild um, spiciness in this cigar um, and um, some nutty flavors as well. So not a typical Connecticut. Uh, doesn't start off uh, super mild. Uh, I'd say right off the bat, more in the mild to medium uh, kind of range. Uh, but nice, uh, nice flavors uh, to start off. Um, atypical, I'd say, for a Connecticut or for the usual Connecticut, so that's why it's atypical. <laughs> Starting to get some um, kind of wood, woodsy flavors uh, with those, uh, the nuts uh, in there and um, some, some good uh, creaminess into this uh, cigar as well. Quite enjoyable and like I said, uh, atypical uh, Connecticut. It's not your uh, your usual Connecticut cigar. Some grassy flavors there too. So I'm going to continue smoking this guy. Great start uh, to the uh, EP Carrillo New Wave uh, Reserva. And I'm going to be checking back with you uh, just past the one third mark heading into the halfway point of this cigar. So I'm back with the um, second third of the EP Carrillo and uh, the nice ash that was forming just fell <laughs> as, um, as I started recording um, the second third of the video. And it's been quite a lovely uh, cigar. I'd say some nice flavor transitions as I was closing into the end of that first third. Um, I'd say a nice kind of sweetness developed into the into the cigar which has been really a nice uh, introduction uh, into the flavor profile of the cigar. Fairly decent smoke uh, output. I'm gonna actually uh, remove this band which is actually like a really beautiful beautiful band um, on this uh, on this cigar which is something I didn't mention at the beginning but uh, uh, one of my favorite cigar bands. It's really classic kind of looking. I really like it. I'd say, you know, the overall kind of uh, flavors have uh, increased in terms of that spicy flavors. Um, like I said, there's nice sweetness in there. Um, creamy, it's like almost like a sweet cream in there, but um, uh, but not, not, you know, intermingling with the, with the spiciness and the creaminess of the cigar and uh, kind of these dry nut flavors and uh, that cedar is definitely there too. So does have some complexity for a Connecticut for sure. Really enjoyable so far. Um, I'm gonna continue smoking this guy and um, look at that, look at the burn line too. Look at that burn line, nice burn line on the EP Carrillo New Wave Reserva which, uh, I'll, like I said, I'll continue smoking this guy and I'm gonna be checking back with you um, when I'm closing into the last third of this EP Carrillo, new EP Carrillo, new wave reserva. So I'm back with the EP Carrillo, new wave res reserva. Very enjoyable smoke, and uh, I'm into the uh, last third of this cigar, past the uh, the last uh, third here. Um, nice ash. Gr look at that, great burn line. Great burn line, and it's a little bit windy out here, and um, uh, it's still maintaining a great burn line, well-constructed cigar. Um, very enjoyable smoke. I'd say the flavors have ramped up a little bit into this, uh, coming into this last third that sweet creamy flavors that were there um, for the first third to second third are kind of dissipating they're uh, more intermittent now and uh, you're getting much more of those uh, kind of dry nut flavors dry wood cedar um, 
some of that those spices are still kind of there um, but I'd say more predominantly on the wood uh, the woodsy and um, uh, those uh, those dry nut uh, uh, flavors um, but the spiciness is still there and um, I'd say I think there's some coffee flavors developing not a really dark kind of coffee um, or like an espresso type but uh, more just regular coffee very uh, very enjoyable look at that I mean great burn line um, nice uh, smoke output um, throughout and um, you know I'd say for a Connecticut it's uh, it's uh, it has some relative uh, complexity I mean it's not an overly complex cigar but for a Connecticut I'd say it's relatively complex which means it's great for that uh, cup of coffee or even a morning smoke but I think this one would be a more versatile Connecticut in that I think you could pair it with um, uh, with other drinks I'd surmise this would go really nicely with a nice uh, glass of um, uh, red wine or even uh, you know um, you know whiskey or a brandy it's not a mild cigar I'd say um, uh, you know in terms of the body of the cigar I'd say it's more to that uh, mild to medium the strength of the cigar I'd say it's closer to that medium and definitely in this last uh, third both the body and the strength have uh, increased uh, um, throughout the smoke again is yeah, it's much more. It's much closer to a medium uh, right now. Uh, overall, I'd say it's more of a mild to medium, but closer to the medium um, uh, kind of uh, spectrum in terms of uh, strength and body. So uh, I'm going to continue smoking this guy. Really good cigar. I definitely recommend this cigar. Um, you know, if you like Connecticut's, if you're looking for uh, more flavorful Connecticut's, I'd recommend this guy. Um, you know, really good uh, credit to uh, E.P. Carrillo. Uh, he makes really good cigars. Um, and uh, this one is definitely, in my book, in my books, a winner. And uh, I'd say even box-worthy for sure um, for those, uh, you know, searching for more flavorful uh, Connecticut's um, and more versatile kind of Connecticut. So that's it for the uh, my review of the E.P. Carrillo New Wave Reserva. And I'm going to see you guys again next time for another cigar review and uh, until then cheers